guys, welcome to the Became a New Vlog. I am in my library, obviously. It is Sunday that I'm starting this. I actually started the audiobook a couple days ago, but I haven't had a lot of time to listen to audiobooks because Miss Darcy, my little beagle who's so precious and I love her, she is, I've had her for eight years now. She is nine and a half. She hurt her back yesterday and woke me up at 4 a.m. Very uncomfortable and I was like, what's going on? I didn't know if she had a stomach ache. What was happening? She could not sit still and get comfortable. So I took her to the emergency vet around 7.15 because obviously this happened on a Saturday. Our vet's closed and they told me to come back at 2 so I wasn't like sitting in their waiting room all day for the emergency one. They have an urgent care now where they have appointments. So came back at 2 and she has her a disc in her back so she's on medication now but she has to take it easy for two weeks minimum which means no walking my dogs lily will not go to walk by herself lily is a very <laughs> anxious prone puppy she hears a fly go by she starts shaking runs upstairs and does not come out she hears a smoke detector battery beep she flips flips and starts shaking and control and hides so she's very sensitive and so she will not go on a walk without darcy we tried last time darcy got hurt darcy hurt her shoulder like a year ago and had the same kind of thing we had to do where we had to put her on medication and she couldn't go on walks or jump or stuff like that for two weeks so no walks and i listen to a lot of my audiobooks on walks so that's why long story short i have not read this that much but i had my patreon vote i had like six or seven books picked out of series i haven't finished yet where i have one book left i'm so bad at finishing series and this is the most annoying is that i've read most of these series but one book so the audio i'm listening to is block shot i actually started this and stopped it's very heavy emotionally so i wasn't in the mood and i had something else to read and i just never picked it back up so i'm listening to this audiobook now it is banner and why am I holding long shot? <laughs> I picked out book two. I thought this said block shot. I said the right one. Wow. Okay, long shot. Why are these backwards? No, long shot's number one. Hook shot's the last one. I don't know what I'm doing. Block shot is the one I haven't read yet. This is Banner. I was like, it's not August. What the heck? This is Banner and Jared. This one is really sad because they really liked you. Oh, this formatting is so pretty in this edition. But I'm listening to audio of this one. So this one, Banner and Jared studied a lot together at the laundry mat, and Jared really liked Banner, and he's trying to get into the secret society, and they're like, you need to sleep with the fat girl, is what they call her. And so he does. She figures it out, hates him, and now they're adults out of college, and they're both sports agents and she is now dating a client of hers and I remember that I got halfway through obviously it was years ago so I do want to reread but this one's very emotional because I know stuff happens then the next one is not a surprise twisted lies I've read all three in this series but this one so I really want to read this so it is so long I was thinking of reading it in paperback but we'll see I don't read too many paperbacks these days especially if it's on KU I end up reading on Kindle because I run on the treadmill in the morning and I'll read my ebook so I'll probably switch between the paperback and the hardback of this one honestly but this one is Stella and Christian and I know nothing except for I think she is a influencer but my friend Becca helped edit this and she's very mad at me that I haven't read it yet because she loves this book so <laughs> I need to read it and then should be no surprise I am finally reading The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. This won't be like the last in the series in October because book three comes out, but that's a perfect time for me to catch up because I haven't read this. I read Mile High in January. I loved it and everybody's obsessed with this. So I will be reading this as well. It is basketball and fake dating and roommates. It is the brother of the heroine for book one. So I think they're twins, if I remember. I really like that. I love the formatting of these books. So this one as well, I will be reading physically and probably switch to the ebook. Those are my plans and I will take you along with me for the week as I read and finish these series because I need to be better at that.
quick update from my desk. I am all over the place. So this weekend, my I have so much sitting on my, my desk right now. Not like a ton. My desk isn't too messy. But this weekend, I've been, I've just been feeling all over the place. So I, my weekend was like kind of thrown in the air because of Darcy. She got hurt. And so I pretty much spent the entire weekend just like hanging out with her. And yesterday I had a very packed work day and then I had to leave at four um, for the Jonas Brothers concert. So and like I literally like stopped work my dad came over talked to him got ready for the concert left like that is the most unprepared I've ever been leaving for a concert we had planned to get there at six opener started at seven concert started at eight we never get there two hours early we're always like four hours early to concerts we are nervous about concerts because of traffic and getting everything we need like merch and stuff so we always get there super early but like this is the second time we've seen the Jonas Brothers this month <laughs> this year uh, we saw them in August their opening night and then we went to the Cleveland show so the traffic was so bad in Cleveland because they kept on closing streets with cops directing traffic directing the traffic made things a lot easier than when we were in Cincinnati for Taylor so the only problem was our GPS kept on taking us down streets that were closed to the point where we literally were like we T twice that happened and so we just parked in a $20 lot we're like we paid for parking that was right next to the stadium my sister bought it after she bought our tickets the tickets were only like $60 when she bought them and I was like are these real <laughs> they were <laughs> so we got in and the stadium was the Cavs stadium and it was small compared to every other stadium we've been to this year we've been to taylor we went to ed and we went to the jones brothers at yankee stadium so uh, those were big arenas and like fields so this felt very small and i felt like we had really good view even though we were like 15 from the top it was amazing one of my favorite jones brothers concerts i've ever been to and nick sang red dress which i don't think i've heard him sing since i saw him when i was in middle school he for sure did not sing it the last two times i saw them post graduating college so i was living mm, the best life and then it was danielle's birthday so kevin asked everybody to sing to her because it's his wife so we all sang her happy birthday and it was just so good and getting home wasn't too crazy but i've only had running on four hours of sleep right now my sister had to get up and go to a work meeting at seven and we got home at one and darcy would not go to bed because i think she wanted my dad because my dad spent the night he offered to spend the night at our house and watch the dogs the original plan was we would take them over there they'd spend the night there like they always do but darcy hurt her back so we don't want her running around with all the dogs my parents parents have three dogs and my parents wouldn't be as watchful <laughs> with her at their house with all the dogs so she can't jump off of anything so my dad offered to come and spend the night and watch them at our house so he did that but we got home around one and I took Darcy just to put her in my bed so that she wouldn't do anything my dad didn't have to worry about her what he was sleeping and she obviously wanted to go back with my dad <laughs> I was like Darcy you're gonna sleep with me she would not go to bed for like 30 minutes so I really went to bed around two and my sister woke up at six and I was gonna get up with her to let the dogs out so I'm running up for hours of sleep a little tired and then my sister did get into an accident last week so she has to get her car fixed and ended up having to leave it there she was getting an estimate and they're like we can fix it like starting in two days and they're like you shouldn't be driving it which she wasn't that was the only time she drove it and so i had to go pick her up so it's been a bit of a crazy day i'm waiting to start a meeting with tori because we have a lot to talk, chat about because we do a lot of work together and then i have a lot more work to get done so it's been a crazy day i tried listening to block shot on my drive home but it was literally like 11 30 at night and i was very tired so it was making me sleepy so i turned on music instead of keep me awake it's definitely still what i remember from it but it's i feel like it's just not my favorite in the series and that's probably why i never wanted to go back and finish it because book one and book three are just so good and this one is like good and i just don't love it when they're kind of like guilt tripped into staying with someone which i feel like is what sh she is she's dating one of her clients because she's a sports agent and the hero is another sports agent that slept with her on a dare in college and so she hates him i did start the right move and it's so cute their banter is top notch i love an author who can do really good banter and i love ryan so much he's just very focused and driven and sacrifices a lot for that and doesn't know how to not sacrifice things for that and doesn't know how to let people in and they, i like how they compare him to xander's from book one where it's like those are po like popular celebrities but he's like 
top tier, like best in the league. Like he cannot go anywhere. So I felt bad for him and I feel really bad for the heroine because even our childhood friends are taking her cheating boyfriend's side and I'm like, he is horrible and she deserves better, but I really like her and I like it so far. So I'm like 15% and they just agreed to fake date. So it's gonna get good. I need to go work though. I have so many things to unbox though too and I have so much to do for YouTube. I need to film a video today and I want to film an unboxing for this vlog. So be prepared for all of that later. I'm here for the unboxing. I have four packages, I think four packages and three shirts to show you. So my first one's my Jonas Brothers shirt. Look how cute. My sister and I weren't going to get merch, but we got there and the opening act just went on and we don't care about the opening act. We already saw them when we were in New York. So we saw the merch line and we're like, let's just check it out. They had a special Cleveland shirt. So we were like, okay, fine, we'll get it. And the merch line was not even 10 minutes long, super short. So that was exciting. And then I told you guys, I don't know if I told you, Jermione is my new personality. So I have Draco Malfoy shirt, obviously had to get this because Manacled is my life now and I have so many fanfics now downloaded to my Kindle. And then this one I've already told QB Tyler about and Tori from Novel Life and they're both like, I'm ordering that immediately. It's amazing, I love it. And I do have a Manacled sweatshirt coming in the mail. I can link these down below if I remember. If I don't, yell at me in the comments and I'll link them. They're from Etsy. So I just placed an order on Etsy as soon as I finished that book because I have an addictive personality. But. I've got some exciting mail, so let's go ahead. I don't know what this one is. So I already opened stickers that Tori and I got for Forever and Always, our uh, audio PR company we have. We got some stickers, so if you ever see us at signings, come find us, because we have stickers. And we're also gonna have bookmarks made, which we're excited for. But this one my dad brought over yesterday. Sorry, I look a mess, I just mowed the lawn. I'd been over a week definitely putting it off. I did not know I was getting this. This is so exciting. So Forever sent this to me. It's Kiss and Spell. It is a, I think it might be Second Chance. So it says that she was this close to her fairy tale ending. Then she's heartbroken. Her magic is all but gone. And she is a telling fortunes at a local psychic shop. And his royal highness is a horrible fae prince. And he's been cursed by the fairy queen with a spell that can only be broken by a perfect kiss. And they have a meet cute mix up and have a budding friendship and she thinks she could be the one to break his spell and it sounds really cute and i'm so excited i did not know that forever would be sending it to me so i'm very very excited for that it was on a few of my like anticipated posts that i've done on like instagram and i'm very excited for that okay then let's do mystic next so mystic box is the Mind F series, I'm a rep for them, so I got a discount and I got early access so that I didn't miss out on this in case it sold out, so I'm very excited. I read the Mind F series last year. It was like around when it first, it was last year or the year before. It was around when it was like starting to get popular for the first time, and then TikTok found it, and then it like really blew up, and then it's still like making its rounds today. So in here, it's so pretty. I've already seen it. I get spoiled by book boxes all the time. And I think they actually posted it themselves too for Mystic. Oh my God, it's so pretty. They have such good quality. If you ever get off the wait list, my rep code should still be at Peace Love Books for 10% off. It's only on the first box, I think, but here's the code. And we're gonna open this before I show you. Oh, it's shiny. There's an apple with the nails inside of it. It's so pretty. This is what it looks like. See the shiny and it has sprayed edges, which are so pretty, so detailed and so gorgeous. It is digitally signed because she did do a box with them before she passed. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. One of the most beautiful books I own. Not even kidding. That is so pretty. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. This will be prized possession forever. Love of love. Then I have two boxes, PR boxes. So I think one is from Valentine PR, which I think is Rebecca Genshack's, hopefully. That came out today, actually. So I think it is, yay. So this is from Rebecca Genshack. It is for Tempting the Player, which I'm very excited for. And I'm gonna open this. Cute little note. Hope you enjoy Jane and Hendrick. And it's got a bunch of goodies in here. 
which are always fun. We have, I saw someone else already unboxed this too. We have this with some cards. We've got a coaster, a little thing. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like an actual pencil case with stuff. And then we have some popcorn, yum, that matches the theme perfectly. Because then we have the book which is Tempting the Player. It's a bodyguard romance. I've already read it and I really, really liked it. I think it gave four stars and I'm excited to read more of the series. It's on Hoopla too, if you have Hoopla. The last box is, I just realized I only turned one of my lights on. I was like, why is it so like shadowy in here? Cause only one of the three on my lamp is open. The last one is from Kat Singleton, which I'm super, super excited for. This one is so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna take photos of all these either. Cause it's too late to take photos of anything. Oh my gosh, this box is like packed to the brim. This one right here says, Welcome to Sutton Mountain. It is a small town. I have not read this yet. I didn't sign up for an arc of this one. I completely forgot to sign up for this arc. I forgot to sign up for a lot of arcs actually recently. Oh my God, this is like literally packed, packed to the brim. So lots, lots going on in here. So typically authors always send a little annotating kit. So we have that in here. It's got a uh, tabs and pens super cute and then we have a really cute is this a bath bomb shortcake thing there we have oh my god i love it we're using that and then we have still more of these little worms that get literally everywhere i cannot imagine her trying to pack these we have a little cookie which is super cute and we have Mm, oh my god, that smells so good. That smells like a man. <laughs> it is supposed to be Camden. Oh my god, it is a cup. Grab my neck and call me shortcake with a straw. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love how that turned out. And then, of course, we've got the book, which is so pretty in person. Oh my gosh, look. Look how pretty. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, and it has art prints, like oh, page overlays in it. Oh my gosh, how exciting. I'm excited, this is small town. So very, very exciting. Oh my gosh, and there's even more in this envelope. Thank you so much to Kat Singleton. This is amazing, I love it. I've been talking for too long though. This is supposed to be just a three book vlog and I've already just filmed 10 minutes in here. But that is my book haul and I read more of my Kennedy Ryan and I'm still enjoying it though she's still cheating on her boyfriend and I feel like she has no good reason to so um but that's okay I'm still enjoying it and that's what I listened to while I was mowing my lawn but that's everything to share and I haven't even read anything else but I will chat with you guys later hi hi guys so this is actually like the first time I'm gonna get into bed and read it is 8 40 right now I was gonna read a little bit before getting ready for bed because Darcy's in my bed. This is the first night that she's been here that I've been alone with her. So my sister works. And so I've had her alone since 6 p.m. Which I guess like my dad did that when we went to the concert. I'm just very anxious about her jumping anywhere. And so I like had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I was like, do I leave her sitting here on my bed? And I ran to the bathroom, went as quick as I could, washed my hands, came right back out. So she stayed, thank goodness, because one of the few times that she's jumped off my bed is when I was in the bathroom. So she, however, is a little princess. A little diva and she will not sleep on the floor <laughs> I don't even remember the last time she slept on the floor she'll lay on the floor in the kitchen but she has been on the couch and then she really wanted my sister's room because Lily went in my sister's room on her bed Lily will occasionally go over there and she will also sleep on my sister's bed in the middle of the night when only I am home thanks Lily so uh, we'll see how she does tonight I finished the Kennedy Ryan and I understand why I stopped reading it last time. This one in the series I feel like is the weakest for me because plot wise not a lot happened. It was very very character driven and her books are always character driven but there just wasn't a lot of plot to this one other than Banner and Jared like reconnecting and Banner understanding everything that happened and then all the things that happened with her boyfriend. He I don't I just didn't love it like normally I like messy cheating romances but I don't like vindictive characters and what Zoe did to, I think his name was Zoe, what Zoe was doing was like deliberately trying to not let them be together because he really wanted her. 
<sighs> even though he knew she wanted the other guy I don't know I don't know how I feel I was just like passively listening to it by halfway through so I am gonna give it three stars which is so sad because I never give Kennedy three stars I only give her four and five so this is probably my least favorite I've read by her even though I love a good angsty messy cheating romance this didn't feel like angsty and messy it was just very emotional especially what happened with Zoe and I don't know I don't know I'm really sad I didn't love it I did love I think Teddy Hamilton was a narrator and I really loved his narration and the female narrator but overall this was just a miss for me and I'm sad I ended up listening to it a lot while I was creating graphics this afternoon and evening because I was doing stuff for Instagram and for forever and always creating those graphics and I was like that is when I can listen to audiobooks if I'm doing like emails or anything I cannot pay attention to an audiobook so I was just doing that and then I was shopping the, the stuff your kindle sale which is today tomorrow and the next day so it's gonna be over by the time this video goes up but that's when all these books are free I have like 30 ebooks even though I don't need them but I'm gonna jump into the right move which I am loving their banter is just top-notch I really love it and I love how close Ryan is with his sister they have such a close bond and I love that I mean I have a really close bond with my twin sister not so much with my older brother and it just like makes me love him even more with how protective and caring he is with his sister they're like she's the only one he shows emotions like that for but they just went on their first like official fake date where she had to go to a, like this gala charity thing with him I don't know if it was a gala but she had to go to some event with him and it was really cute and then he was getting jealous and I loved it and I love her job I love all the athletes around we met the next hero and very excited for that book to come out I know it comes out in October I'm for sure reading it so I'll continue reading Dunda Darcy <laughs> excuse you I've never I don't think I've ever vlogged in here before let's hope the dogs don't move I'm in my sister's room um she has these really cute art prints I actually ordered one I have to get a frame for it they're for Taylor Swift Eras tour we went to two dates in July the two Cincinnati nights and she got those and I was really jealous and I was like you didn't tell me you ordered them I hate it when she orders stuff doesn't tell me and it shows up and it's so cute and I'm like I would have added something to that order but the latest purchase a Genovia sweatshirt so in the top of the laundry basket was a really cute um Gilmore Girls one so I'm trying to adjust this because Lily just moved Gilmore Girls is her show so I was like oh this is so cute like I didn't know you had this and then there was another shirt I forget what it was for and then there was that sweatshirt and I was like fine fine I am here because Ryan Shay is like the ultimate book boyfriend he is literal ink on paper but he is literal perfection i was working out this morning i was running and lily stop moving i was reading on the treadmill this morning very very stressful i had to put her downstairs because i didn't trust her to not jump off anything upstairs so i carried her down and she was not happy i put the gate at the bottom of the steps and she she was mad to be down there with me i was literally like grinning like a fool when they have their first kiss grinning like a fool and there's also a scene where she goes on a date with someone and he shows up and he is livid he is so mad at her he li literally makes up reasons to text her because he misses her because they travel a lot because he's a basketball player and she's a flight attendant for a hockey team so they always have like opposite schedules and stuff but he's always texting her always thinking about her and i love it it's so good i don't want it to be over i'm already halfway through and i really want to finish it tonight we'll see i have twisted lies to read i do have to go to my parents house tomorrow my brother and his wife are in town and they live about two hours away in a different city and so they're bringing their son and my parents are babysitting while they go to something so my sister and i might go over for dinner and visit probably not for too too long because of darcy just so that she doesn't overexert herself and get too excited she doesn't get excited at their house like lily does but there's just like a lot going on with all those people and dogs in the house i'm gonna work tomorrow obviously work has been busy good but busy so i've started with a couple new clients which is very very exciting very exciting people but i will hopefully finish this i don't think i'll finish tonight i say that now i've brought my computer in here but i honestly don't want to do any more work I should reply to some emails then i'm gonna read but i really want to read harry potter fan fiction but i also have a couple of new releases that just came out that i got in the mail like laura pavlov's new one and kat singleton's new one and carla sorensen's new one and sierra simone's new one i cannot keep up with new releases but this book has me swooning and i should have read it sooner i know i should have read it sooner but yeah
I'm here with pups. Miss Lilla, Miss Stars, my sister just left for work. I did finish the right move a couple days ago and it was so good. Ryan Shea is like perfect. I really like the book. I loved how Ryan was like so in love with her, obsessed with her. His love language is literally like buying things for her and providing for her and spoiling her and I was obsessed. So, so good. However, I was not the biggest fan of the pacing at the end. So I think I'm gonna give this four and a half stars round up to five because I was like swooning over him in so many different scenes and I loved how they slowly fell for each other. They got together fairly quickly though. Like they were together 80% in and then there was a third act breakup that didn't, I didn't completely 100% love because I feel like they had moved past that and I don't love that he would have assume something about her and he's like i don't know why i would have done that i was like because you wouldn't have like it and it's understandable why he would have been freaked out about what had happened considering what happened in his past so i wish that she would have given him a little more grace i wish they would have both given each other a little more grace but we had to have a through that breakup so that happened and i just wasn't the biggest fan because i was 70 percent through or 80 percent whatever and i was like they're happy and in love we still have 20 percent of this book left something's gonna happen and i don't love that so we had to have though time for him to like do his big grand gestures which he did which is very cute i loved how things happen at his basketball game so she'd be there and he would get very protective of her and it was good it was really 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 good i loved it but four and a half stars for that one however talk about book boyfriend so ryan shay amazing right i am over 100 pages into twisted lies now i've only read this today i read like not even 10 pages yesterday. I've read all of the, that I've read of it today. It is so good. Christian, literally from the start, is touch her and you die. He literally was like, I might have to go to jail if someone here touches you. I love how it kind of feels mafia-esque because he's a billionaire who has his own security company and he's literally like, I could just literally just take this guy out right now if I wanted to, which I'm here for. I love it. I love that they're fake dating. I just filmed my October releases yesterday video about like romances coming out next month and so many of them are fake dating and I'm like, Ugh, fake dating trope again. It is so good in here. So good. She wants to grow her social media following and I don't hate that about her. I usually am really wary about books that are about influencers, but I feel like it's so realistic in this one because she's just been like stuck at a certain number of following. She has like 800,000 followers. She'd love to get to a million, but she's just been stuck and she's like, nothing I do is going to grow my account. And then she looks at other accounts of like couples and how they do so much better than her and they're probably gonna get brand deals over her. So someone says, you should get a boyfriend. And she's like, but I don't want a boyfriend. And then Christian learns about her problem and is like, let's fake date which I love. And he's also someone very aware of though, like your cyber footprint. So he has one burner Instagram account that he uses just to follow her. I'm absolutely loving it. And I love seeing all the other twisted characters. We get to see all of her friends. And we just saw Reese who I love from book two. So it is going so, so well. This might be my favorite of the series. We shall see. Hello everybody, please ignore the intense lighting. It is so overcast outside, I think it started raining. I'm here to close out this vlog because I finished Twisted Lies. I also have my new Mancold sweatshirt on, which is so cute, and I match, it's green. I finished Twisted Lies, I loved it so much. I do think the ending went on a little too long. I will say I skimmed the last two epilogues because I'm not an epilogue person, I really don't care, but I know people love the epilogues because this is the last book in the series, so it shows all of them together and like all of them with kids and everyone's like, oh my gosh, they're so cute, which is like fine. <laughs> I just don't care. I love this though. Christian is your billionaire, but he's also basically a mafia person. Like he kills people. He can hack into people's things, he can ruin people's lives. It feels, feels very mafia-esque, and I loved that. I loved how he was so protective of Stella, so protective of her, and she, there was a third act breakup, which, fine, but she never stopped thinking about him, and there was some romantic suspense in here because she had a stalker, and he was just so, so obsessed with her, and something we learned, I was like, there was also a scene where, <laughs> I think I already told you where his reaction was like literally touch her and you die. 
literally so i loved that about him it's very long and very slow burn but i think that's really necessary but what i love there is a slow burn but he literally has been in love with her since the beginning so like it didn't have to be a slow burn but he made it a slow burn his character was so interesting he's definitely my favorite twisted hero and this is my favorite book in the series five stars absolutely loved it i'm so happy that i read this because two books that i read for this vlog were so good and i'm annoying for not having read them but i knocked out three series in this vlog it took me a while but i'm very happy about that so if you want me to continue trying to finish my series let me know but that's all i have let me know what you thought about these books if you've read them and as always Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.